Hello, hello, welcome one and welcome all. Welcome back to the Zombie Apocalypse. This is The Walking Dead Season 1, the video game. Uh, episode 1, it's called A New Day. This is part 3. Uh, when last we left, we were on Herschel's farm. And uh, I guess... He and his son. Or letting his son die. Anyhow, uh, Kenny and his family and Lee and Clementine went ahead to go to the town of Macon. Not bacon, but Macon. And as they arrive, uh, you know what happens, the zombie comes. But they're saved. So that's what happened last time. Let's continue with the story. Uh, if you guys like what you see, please subscribe. Uh, show me some likes and even some comments will help. So without further ado, here it is. The Walking Dead Season 1, A New Day Part 3. can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. <laughs> we don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. Not to mention your head's a little bit big. What is it? I... Where's the boy? There's only one girl? Well, they I'd weren't... go up there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out mm. there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Especially Holy since you have the gun. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. It's just a little jelly, jelly jam. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! We, what do we do about this guy? Let's take him. Dad, it's <laughs> just a boy. It, it's Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Yeah. Nobody threatens my boy. I understand. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. Someone's knocking and on the door. Shut the fuck up. They will find us. Mm, such harsh language. Here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Lee, stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Mm, Do you? You're okay. not fucking acting like it. Sit down. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and oh, here we go. Parade. This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy. Let's get into you it. Eat your mommy. You can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. Here we go. Yeah. There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my Oh, daughter. by the way, we locked you a zombie in the bathroom. We forgot She'll to tell you. Jet. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Walk. That's not she muck. It's jelly jam. She does. The first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then there'll be three. And that boy is the ball game. Then we deal with it then. But right now we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it because that boy is bitten. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. <laughs> Knock this guy out. <laughs> Wow. Jesus. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh, he knocked him out. Jesus. Let me hobble over there. Oh, uh, what happened? You passed out? Everything is in slow mo. Oh. Yeah, 
Come on, get up. Get up. Just, I'm just a little dizzy, that's all. Uh, X, 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 come on! I'm pressing it. Oh. About time someone took action. You got Jelly Jam on me again. Ooh. You okay? Thank you, big head. Just great, thanks. I need to deliver my pizza. Oh no, balsa wood. Again. Give me that gun. Who's that? I didn't see that guy before. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Oh, 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 good. He's having a heart attack. See you later. Was he the one bitten? <laughs> Don't be crazy. <laughs> it's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. Those We've aren't good for him. The pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Mmm, yummy. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. There's soda Sorry, behind the counter. This store isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. What? Hopefully Where's the other one? Needed. Cool. <laughs> He'll be talking on a walkie-talkie, no one, no one responds back. And you, what's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. Just remember you're married, your Buster. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. Who are you to tell me what to and do? I'm Carly. I'm Big okay, Head. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. And why are you the You're boss? You're a good shot. And I'd like to keep it that way. You got a glass yeah, jaw. That guy hit you and knocked you out. Give him those pills. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Looking around. Oh, yeah. Let's read. Oh, what happened? Is that be good? Papers a week old. Feels like years. Mm-hmm. Perfumes won't scare them. Uh, oh, money. Money, money, money. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. What does that mean? Does it mean there's still medicine? Sorry, we're closed. The pills are in there. That's what they said. There's no getting in there from out here. That great does its job. Mmm, chocolate. <laughs> Get the guy a candy so bar. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. It's candy. It's supposed to be sweet. How's he doing? Oh. I'm not sure I got just... your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Ooh. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Of course you were. I was hard to get again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Oh, give me a break. What do you think about all of this? Uh, mm, you're from here? Okay. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. By the way, you have a big head, too. 
You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just How he know that? admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. He looked shocked. Okay? I just just realized I have to go to the bathroom you too. Know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What's wrong? We already know. She told us his heart is bad. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Well, he looks pretty relaxed to me. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, that he seems like you can. It's just his way. <laughs> Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Hmm. Where's her mom? Here's your candy bar back. I so told you once. Oh, she's not my daughter. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. I'm oh. just looking to unload her now. Message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Are you kidding? I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. <laughs> oh, let's go check out who's dead in the office. I'm probably going to find photos and stuff. Maybe even a picture of him and the owners. Maybe this is his parents or his brother? I forget. He said he had family here. Hmm. Let's move this bookshelf out away from the door so zombies so can come in. To the back alley. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Uh, let's check out the um, photo. There's that photo. Yeah. Looks like one of those hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Protector, at least. I can't hear you over the music, Lee. Let's take a look at your family. Hmm. His brother was a nurse or a doctor? find anything <laughs> he's only gonna keep that part of the picture of himself <laughs> it's a photo of the family who owned this place might help us track down the keys to the office I know who you are <gasps> you're Lee Everett you're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife <gasps> this is your parents store folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence but I'm a reporter for <gasps> It's no wonder why you got a big head. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Well, good. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. For a murderer. There's a little girl to take care of. And look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. 
big head. I'll just keep it to myself. <laughs> Thanks. Big head. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I want to walk over here to the safe. Bedding. Did I examine that? I think I did. Yeah, okay. Can I get out of this? Okay. Alright, let's head out of here, Clement. Oh, you you wanna talk? How you doing? Okay. Oh, Glenn. <laughs> From Glenn? Not in a little while. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Oh, by the way, I still haven't gone pee. Have you heard from Glenn? We just heard, we just talked about that. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. I'm gonna look for that pizza boy kid. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? I still gotta go. You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. I just went into a terrible rage. Head back to the others. Hey, where's Glenn? The pizza boy. Uh, anything over here? Oh, more candy. This one I'm going to give to Clementine. <laughs> Anything over here? Looking around. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? I told you once. Oh, uh, uh, he's not really my dad. This is Lee. What's this up? This is Lee. I so, told you once. Uh, I'm down at that oh. motor in, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor in. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <laughs> awesome. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here comes the vote. Let's just leave him there. Hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a job. In her high heels. Where does she get sneakers from? Hey there. Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? How I'm about okay. that chocolate bar Maybe you just took off hungry. the shelf? I'll see about that. Oh, well... So, um... <laughs> Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. I was gonna say That's Glenn, good. but I figured we'd talk a little bit. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. Wasn't What's the military that? just outside shooting okay. up the place? Yeah, you gotta give her the candy bar. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. 
All right. Oh, another one. That one's for me. Oh, maybe I should give this to the duck kid. Na -na 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 -na. Hey, what's that? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. Let me try putting batteries in it. Uh, or maybe you should hit the power button. Nothing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. Someone, someone with a some. big head. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. I've been finding chocolate bars. I don't know about batteries. Uh, let's go check the shelf again. Hang on the shelf. <laughs> I know I got this candy bar for Duck, but I'm not going to give it to him. Because I know he ran over that kid, Sean, or whatever his name was, who died. Uh, batteries. Oh, I can't walk over here. It's just, it's, I'm too depressed. I'll go this way. What's that? Batteries? Chocolate syrup? What'd you pocket? Oh, batteries. Okay, here we go. I only found one. Is that enough? Nope. This battery should fit the radio. Just one. Great. Even though Thanks. it looked like it needed two. Can you turn it on? Don't I'm talk to her about it. Batteries for that day. Oh. Thanks. Yeah. I appreciate it. You still need one more battery. Uh, so it was on the floor. It's on the floor over here. Uh, hey, what's in here? Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Okay, mm so batteries here. And... Maybe there were batteries in there that I miss. We just need to get so back to Fort Lauderdale. Now. We'll do our damnedest. Here, let me give this brat chocolate bar. It's not much, but here, <laughs> for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Ah, I'm a zombie boy. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't <laughs> such a good idea. There were worse plans. You shouldn't have egged me on, man. In the mouth. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Thank you for getting my husband into a fight. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? Oh, well, I Leave killed a guy and right. I almost got bit. I think I'm a little... Well, no, I'm not adjusted right. Something's wrong upstairs. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. <laughs> Where are they? Should we go no, looking for them? They died in the back room. They uh, owned this place. They uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. But maybe you can go outside and still see them. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Lee, she must be really screwed up. Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens. I guess. I should put a guilt trip on him. You let him die. Yeah. That's rough. I 
killed that boy. We could have saved him together. Nah, you didn't kill him. Your kid did. When you look back on it, but in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Oh, console. Am I gonna hug him? Go. Can I have a hug, please? <laughs> His wife's gonna pull a guilt on. You let that boy die over there. Mm, okay, so I'm still searching for batteries. Get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? How are we doing? Oh, not again! I hit you that because mind? maybe I thought. I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Yeah. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. Especially since you punched him, you caused his condition to to worsen. Okay, where does batteries? Come on, I need batteries. Ah. Whoop. Oh, greeting cards. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. Mm-hmm. Register? Mm, what am I looking for? Another battery. Oh, wait. I have a battery. Let's get over there and listen to the news. Where? Where is it? It's over here somewhere. Uh, is she over here? she move? Where'd she go? Oh, here we go. Just come full circle. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Yeah, so let's listen to it. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not <laughs> suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Uh, What's going on with Glenn? They weren't they supposed to go out and like save Glenn? around cool and we'll keep it down don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises agreed you seem to know a lot about zombies yeah this is a great idea <laughs> now it's nighttime too Oh, they're still eating the remains of my parents. You wanted to come out here. Eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Yeah, even though we may smell a little bit. Oh, look. Let's go reaching outside the cage. <laughs> okay. I guess that's what we want to do. Any idea where the pharmacy keys may be? Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? Oh, it's on the dead body over there. Maybe your dad or mom. They weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. You're talking okay. about my mom and dad. I'm fine. But that's okay. The keys aren't in the drugstore. Think they could be out of here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility. Right. Uh, let's see what's in this box over here since it's lit up. I can't reach that brick. Oh. I can't reach that brick. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. Uh, what's this? Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. It's a tool a shop. Bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Tim's tools and more. It's a combination lock. I 
Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. That place is full of TVs and electronics. That place is full of All TVs right, and electronics. Alright, we know that. How come you can't reach the brick? I'm hey, just man, what are you doing? I'm just gonna guess the combination. Out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Who locked it? I'd have to hey, go back what are you doing? and look up the uh, going out there look up the, the video on that. For sure. How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No. You geek. Doing my own thing. What about you? I killed my wife. I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, is that it? Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore is safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up well. Alright, let's just go back inside, shall we? Let's head back inside. Okay. Especially since you can't reach that brick. <laughs> so what, I thought we were going to go save uh, Glenn. His brother must be roaming around out there somewhere. Maybe he's alive. Alright, what else am I doing in here? What's it say? I can't read. It looks all blurry. I need glasses. I don't remember them very well. I already talked to you guys. You guys were supposed to be resting, remember? What's this? That's you. I want to talk to you. Uh, should I go back in the office again? I think maybe I missed something. down here uh, uh, I check that she get anything in the radio yet you're a pretty good shot for a big head you, know, you don't fuck with a reporter especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee Oh, I gotta go out with her. Okay, go out and get Glenn. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. Mm, cut the socializing. Let's get going. eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but you know. Yeah. That guy saved you. Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. <laughs> uh... It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that. Yeah, let's turn the power Go button ahead. on this time. Let's listen to it now. Oh, what are you doing? Hmm, what? Oh, you put the batteries in backwards. Yes, yeah, you did. <laughs> oh my god. What kind of reporter is this? Do you, do you know how to use batteries? What? Wait a minute. That's not what I wanted to do. I thought he was going to close the lid. Alright, so we go back to your hand. 
Here we go. Uh, okay, so we got a volume button now, so we can listen. As the unknown switch it. continues to spread unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved one... God bless you all. <laughs> I'm so confused. I, it, the news report's so confusing. Okay. Ready to go. Let's go get Glenn. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here. You ready to head out? You got it. You? In a minute. Okay, let me know. In a minute? You gotta talk to Clementine? <laughs> what kind of look was that? He had this weird look. Okay. Say goodbye to Clementine. Oh. Clementine, I gotta go. See ya. Everything okay? Oh, we mm -hmm. had this conversation already. All right. Since uh, everything's okay, I'm not gonna tell you where I'm going. Hey there. Uh, here. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Into action. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Yes. Was that Glenn? Did you see that? Sure did. It's Glenn. He's sitting in the icebox, freezing his butt off. Guys, oh, man. guys! I just thought I'd make some noise. Jesus, Glenn? That wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. Couple of guys like zombies, or a couple of guys like hoodlums. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Come on, big head. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Probably some fat chick. I know that's bad. I shouldn't have said it. Wow, weird panning at a camera. Oh, okay. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly, <laughs> noise attracts these things. <laughs> Let's bash their heads in. Uh, another look around. Hmm. I looked all the way that way, all the way that way. I'm looking up. I guess. Is that it? Peek over the wall. Oh, here. We can hide by that RV if we're quiet and keep our heads down. Oh, man. She's eating something. So we got that one right Wow, close. that one almost saw me. See, see what's going on over there. There's one back there, trying to get into a room, but I didn't see anyone actually in there. Uh, there's a truck. We can hide by that pickup. Yeah. The girls behind that door. Those two seem to be on the scent. Hmm. What do you say about this? We can hide by that RV if we're quiet and keep our heads down. 
down. Well, if you hide there, uh, this is like, uh, what, are we going to kill some people? All right, we'll go over this way, I guess. Here we go. Shh, quiet, quiet, quiet. Here we go. Ew, that was, that was really scary. Hey, uh, Glenn, you got a big head, too, you know that? We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. Did you bring any pizza with you, Glenn? What the heck? I want to go to that container. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. Should we go back? Did that make sense? I think it makes sense to go back. Come on, Glenn. We made a mistake. I guess we're going to the van. Or that truck. Oops, excuse me. Bending over makes me fart. Give me your gun. No wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Maybe a gun. No wonder if there's anything in the pickup. We'll go walk over there, will you? Oh yes. The perfect weapon. Found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Yeah, let's break the window. Ow. Hey man, <laughs> that drew some attention. Be careful. Hmm. Just like try the door handle. Maybe there's some keys around. What's this? back to that wall. Same there. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow looking near the front. Hmm. What are we going to do with the car? Oh. Sure. Oh, okay. That didn't work. So what are we supposed to do with this guy? He's not going anywhere. Uh... I guess we could break the window open. <laughs> Let's try it. Oh, okay. Done trying to punch out window. Alright, so now we got ourselves a mystery. Uh what are we gonna do? Oh, wait, wait, go back. Go back. What's up? Oh. When you get back, come on. How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? Any suggestions, Glenn? Their groaning attracts the others. The moment we head towards that car, he's going to emit enough noise to totally screw us. No kidding. Wait a minute. Oh, I just did that. All right, hang on. What else, Glenn? You got any big ideas? Trying to shoot that guy from here is probably a bad idea, huh? Yeah, I think so. How are you going to kill that one by the All car without attracting right. the others? So let's go back to the wall. Let's head back to that wall. Safe there. Whoops, sorry. Oh, that's the bumper. That's not the ice box I'm working at. Okay. How uh, about well, further out? No? Am I missing something? Like, am I supposed to kill somebody? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's go back to this. Come on, Glenn. We're going back here. Must have been the beans I ate. Okay, Glenn. Now what do you gotta say? We're going to need weapons. I think you're gonna need more than your fists, man. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. Hmm. 
I'm not sure I can take them both out myself. You're gonna try. A weapon. Hmm. I don't have a lot of options here. I seem to have gone through them all, but let's take them out. I don't know. All right, let me, let me head back. Come on, follow me. Just wasting time here. I was close. Can I, anything? Anything? There's a truck over there. Maybe we can find you a weapon. We should keep looking around for weapons. Oh, the longer I, you're unarmed, the more nervous I get. I already looked for that weapon over there. It doesn't do anything. Can't get into it. Eh. They really want to get into that room. They really want to get into that room. They really want to get into that room. We can hide by that pickup. Mm hmm. So there's that guy there. We're by the pickup. Uh, see if that's that's what happens when I go right now. Yeah. Now you notice there's an up arrow. You see that up arrow? So if I push up. I look in the van again. I'm done trying to punch out windows. Alright, come on. Think. What am I looking at here? Anything? We can do something with that car, I bet. It won't let me get up and run to test anything. Um. I gotta figure this one out. I tried the door handle. What's this? There's a pig in the truck. There's a pig in the truck. But I can't get to it. So how do I get it, Glenn? Only he had to that car. He's going to unleash enough noise to totally screw us. Their groaning attracts the others. Okay. Trying to shoot that guy from here is probably a bad idea, huh? How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? I can't... Hmm. Not a lot of options here. Not seeing anything else light up. Going back to this wall doesn't do much. Can I? Maybe I gotta get caught. Let's see what happens. I think it saw me. <laughs> oh no! Weeks! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> so much for that. Oh, I'm dead again. There you go, folks. The end of this particular episode. Please do come on back and join uh, me, Lee, and Clementine for part four of The Walking Dead. This is a new day. Uh, that'll be part four. Any comments are always welcome. Uh, likes are also appreciated. More than likes, I like subscriptions. So if you could please subscribe, that'd be fantastic. Uh, come on back and let's see if Kenny gets his block knocked off again. Until then, my name is Tokyo Blue and you come to Game Station Tokyo.